world of arcade games, anime, and superheroes. We bring you the best of both worlds, combining thrilling gameplay from classic and modern arcade games with captivating anime content. Join us as we dive into the action-packed universes of your favorite superheroes. We bring you an epic countdown of the top 10 best arcade games, anime, and superheroes. Welcome back, anime fans! Today, we're counting down the top five most disappointing anime that left us wanting more. Prepare for some letdowns and missed opportunities. Let's dive in. Kicking off our list at number five, Blood of Zeus, season two. The second season struggled to maintain the momentum of the first. The plot became convoluted, and character arcs were mishandled. Despite the beautiful animation and intriguing mythology, the season failed to deliver a satisfying continuation of the story. The first season set a high bar with its intriguing take on Greek mythology, compelling characters, and stunning animation. Season 2 struggled with a convoluted plot and character arcs that felt forced or underdeveloped. Despite maintaining high animation quality, the narrative didn't hold up, making the season feel more like a filler than a meaningful continuation of the story. After a gripping first season, fans were eagerly awaiting the continuation of the story. Unfortunately, the second season failed to live up to its predecessor, with a lackluster plot and character development that left us wanting more. In the fourth position, we have Blue Exorcist, Shimon Illuminati Saga. This season had the potential to captivate audiences with its intriguing storyline. However, it fell short with rushed pacing and underdeveloped characters. Fans were left feeling disconnected and disappointed by the missed opportunities. This arc was a missed opportunity for the series. The story dragged on without significant development, and the new characters introduced were not as engaging as the original cast. The saga failed to capture the magic of the earlier episodes. This arc promised to expand the lore and deepen the conflict within the series. The pacing was slow, and the new characters introduced did not resonate well with the audience. The plot meandered without significant development, and the climax lacked the intensity and emotional weight of previous arcs. Taking the third place is Classroom of the Elite Season 3. The third season didn't live up to the high standards set by its predecessors. The plot seemed disjointed, character development was inconsistent, and the pacing was off. Fans of the series were left disappointed 
by the lack of meaningful progress and compelling storytelling. Despite its intriguing premise and promising first two seasons, the third installment failed to deliver on its potential. Fans were left hanging with unresolved plot lines and a lackluster conclusion, leaving us yearning for more closure. Following the intriguing first two seasons, fans were looking forward to deeper character development and more psychological drama. Season 3 suffered from a fragmented plot and inconsistent character arcs. Key storylines from the light novels were either altered or poorly adapted, leaving many fans feeling that the season did not do justice to the source material. Sliding into the second spot is Garudin, The Way of the Lone Wolf. The ending fight was a major letdown. After building up expectations throughout the series, the final confrontation failed to deliver the excitement and resolution that viewers were hoping for. It felt rushed and underwhelming. While the series had its moments, the ending fight left us wanting more. It lacked the intensity and emotional payoff we had been invested in throughout the series, leaving us feeling unsatisfied. As an adaptation of a beloved manga series, viewers expected high-octane martial arts action and a satisfying conclusion. The final fight, which should have been the highlight, felt rushed and lacked the emotional and physical intensity that the series had been building up to. The animation and pacing issues further detracted from the overall impact. And finally, Rounding out our list at number one is the highly anticipated clash between Baki Hanma and Kengan Ashura. With the intense build-up and high expectations, fans were left disappointed by the execution of the fight. The choreography and animation fell short, failing to capture the epicness we were hoping for. The showdown we all anticipated fell flat. Despite the promising premise of pitting two iconic fighting anime against each other, the execution was lackluster. The fight scenes lacked the intensity and depth that both series are known for, leaving fans wanting more. Fans were eagerly anticipating this crossover as both series are known for their intense, brutal fight scenes and unique characters. The animation quality didn't live up to the hype, and the fight choreography was not as dynamic or engaging as expected. Additionally, the storyline seemed forced, with little build-up or context, making the clash feel superficial. These are my top five disappointing anime experiences so far. What are yours? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more top 10 anime videos and games or the seven deadly sins as crossover characters or poems. And there you have it, folks. The top five most disappointing anime that didn't quite hit the mark. Remember, opinions may vary. So let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our countdowns. Until next time.